In the last lesson, we created this page, the vehicle uh, maintenance record to keep a record of vehicle maintenance or services uh, carried out in the vehicle. Today, I recommend we do uh, vehicle movement, but now we don't have it. So basically, vehicle movement is a way to keep a record of the movement of vehicle from one location to another, and that record can be tracked. So we are going to follow the same method. We are just going to copy and paste. It's going to really be easy, but I recommend you type it out yourself. Try to type it out, adjust the code, and make sure you understand it. If you have challenges, let me know. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below, and I'm always here to help you. So the first thing I'd like us to do, just close this. The first thing I'd like us to do, let's take a look at the vehicle movement model. So this is vehicle movement model. We have the ID. I already explained this to you. This is the ID generator column, uh, is identity, auto increment, and there's the vehicle ID, and we have the location ID, location one, and the date it moves, date one, location two, date two, and remarks. So it's fairly simple model. And let's now go to create the service. Uh, let's go to the service. And it's vehicle movement, uh, vehicle, Vehicle movement service. Vehicle movement service. Yeah, so let's close this. All right, so in vehicle movement service, we have nothing. So let's use maybe client service to create it. So I'm going to copy everything from this service. From this service. So if you already have an existing service, you can simply copy and I show you how to change up, check to change the the names of the items there. So in this case, I copied client service. I'm going to do Control F and change client to vehicle movement and just replace all and close and do the same thing for the upper case. Uh, Control F. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm making a mistake. Okay, so Control F. Let's see, this is clients. I change it to vehicle movement. Take note of the case. Uh, the the case sensitivity so it has to be case sensitive vehicle movement and it's going to be camel case no this is not camel case it's simply uh initial capitalization or something like that so i'm going to replace all as well close so here we have vehicle movement service has been built so let's do the same thing in case of um the controller so i'm going to go to controller and go to vehicle movement uh controller so this vehicle movement controller let me use vehicle maintenance controller to build it so let me go this way i'm going to copy and i'm going to just paste it right here and i'm going to change maintenance to movement so i'm going to change maintenance to movement maintenance change to movement replace all and do the same thing for the lower case uh change vehicle movement service vehicle movement service i think i gotten everything okay all right so in case of vehicle movement we need the vehicle and we also need the location so i'm going to use instead of supplier service let's use location service because we also need a list of location to indicate where the location where the vehicle move uh, from and to. So we have location service. And instead of supply here, it's going to be location service uh, dot dot let's see, I think it should be get locations location service dot uh get locations so you have a list of locations here and this is fine take out one of these all right so this is going to be uh locations good all right so this is what we have and the next thing we are going to do is to work on the html page uh let's go to the html page at this time Again, you have the complete uh, HTML files, so you can actually open and check. So here we have vehicle, what is this? Vehicle movement here, here, okay. All right, so this is a vehicle movement service 
the vehicle movement uh vehicle movement records so let me change the title of the page vehicle movement uh, page so if i scroll down if i scroll down you, you can always find the this place where you have page end and page start so whatever you are going to be doing is going to be in between the page end and page start right so somewhere here right okay good so the complete html file uh is this so this is a complete sorry i'll just get, get it done let me see so this is a complete html file so i'm going to copy the the contents the, the content from page start to page end and use it to build the vehicle movement. So I'm going to go down. Now you also have access to this file because I already gave it to you in part one. So look up, look for page end and you have page start and copy everything uh, in between. Copy everything in between. Copy and put it right here. Put it right here. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go down to put the JS file as, as well. So, I'm going to say script src equals JS slash um, vehicle movement dot JS and it's going to be slash script. Okay. All right. So, we also need the models. The add model, the uh, edit model, and the delete model. I'm going to copy all of them. For you, I recommend you copy it from existing model you have on your page, and then um, you have on you already prepared, and then modify based on the model. Um, okay, so I'm going to I've copied all the models to my clipboard, so I'm going to just paste it right here. I'm pasting all the models. You can do the same. I'm going to save. And the last thing we need to do is to do the JS file. So if I open to static and go to JS, I can just copy clients and use it to build the vehicle movement.js. So I'm going to copy clients and I'm going to paste and change it to vehicle movements. JS and I'm gonna save and again uh, if I open it if I open it very movement JS you have all these things is for clients you you can actually correct it based on the model uh, based on the model for vehicle movement so you can adjust adjust you can just change it up so me I'm, I've done this so I'm going to simply uh, copy and paste I'm going to replace this so here is now vehicle movement they have from location one location two i have already explained about how to handle the dates i have already explained this to you so i think we are good to go i'm going to fire up this application again and let's test the page the, the pages to check that we now have vehicle movement record after that then we now proceed if you have challenges feel free to let me know and I'm going to give you the help. This is something that after now I'm going to move on to the next parts. So if we go to the file now, the, the page here, if I refresh, okay, uh, this is vehicle maintenance. So we are talking about vehicle movements. Let's see. So it's taking some time to start up. Uh, let's see. It's taking some time to start up. Uh, it's taking some time. Okay, so it started up at 8080. So if I go back to the page and just refresh this page, we have the vehicle maintenance record. But if I now go to movement, you can see that we have vehicle movement record. You can see vehicle movement page. I can try to add new. And it says the vehicle departed from departure date, arrived at arrival date, and remark. Now, this remark has to be a test area. So I'm going to just change it from test field input to test area. So I'm going to go down to uh, 
So there is a remarks, remarks details, that's not what we're talking about. Let's just go up. I can actually also change it here. So I'm gonna call this text area and go to the end and say slash text area and to make it have a number of lines. So you say rows is equal to three. I hope that is correct. And I'm going to do the same thing for the edit model. So we have this remarks is going to be text area. Uh, so end text area and that is fine. And I don't think in remark in text area you don't need type is equal to text and you need rows is equal to maybe three. How many lines of text do you want? That is what this is all about. All right. So I'm going to save everything. <coughs> Sorry for that. And let me just test it to make sure my test area text area is working perfectly well. So let me just uh, relaunch this application again. So while it's coming up, I'm going to just show you something. You, I'm going to show you something quickly. Now, if you want to change the port, now it's running at port 8080. If you want to change the port to run and <coughs> to run at another port, you can just say server that port is equal to and just say 8081 or 8082. That is if you want to if you want it to run in another port. Now this meanwhile, let's just uh, check. I'm gonna refresh the page and say add new. So you have a test area here, you can see uh, is a test area, okay. So we are done with this, and the next, now we are, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to work with vehicle hires. Now we don't have it, so that will be nice. So we see in the next part.